come from a music background. That was where I wanted to go. And then sort of fell into editing. And that path just led me into filmmaking and away from music, but always working with bands and artists. Probably shot more than a couple hundred concerts in the last couple of years. There's never really a dull moment because you're always trying to find something. Preparation, arriving at venues, doing sound checks, the band, you know, going about their day-to-day -day backstage, signing autographs, all of those sort of things that, that peek behind the curtain that people really want to see. Um, but also looking at the other side and looking at the audience experience and what it's like, watching people run in, you know, the whole kind of build up from a fan's perspective. The challenge is really optimizing what I use and what I take on the road. I think our approach to post-production and the post-production software and hardware we use is very similar to the approach we take on tour with our production gear. We need ultimate reliability in whatever we use, but we also want the technology to kind of to go away. We want to be able to, it to empower us to be creative, to do the things we need to do. We want to turn things on, to set it up, and we want it to work flawlessly <laughs> for 365 days a year. A system which would deliver the sort of speeds we were dreaming about are jellyfish racks. Like the heart of our post-production. Any project that we work on requires collaboration, it requires us to share timelines and media and sequences around. We just can't afford anything to go wrong. It's where everything lives. It's, it's how we work. There's something incredible about being able to work on a show and actually get a delivery out before the show is finished just because otherwise you know you're just going to be subject to 10,000 other people's iPhone footage. There's a balance that we have to meet getting that immediacy but also being able to protect for the future and you know, that longevity of the footage surviving. We have to preserve the footage that we get in the very highest format possible. never fails to impress me and to inspire me just how important music is to people. All of the sort of investment of time and money people put into and seeing an artist is still so inspiring because that's what keeps live music alive. Mm -hmm.